In this video, we're going to use the rules on the right to simplify this expression in blue. And this is a little bit nasty, but it's, it'll be fine. You just use the rules one at a time and go slow. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, if you've seen any previous videos of mine on this particular topic, uh, you'll notice that I say I always try to get rid of this negative sign here. However, when I'm dealing with multiple negatives, both top and bottom, and some that are included inside parentheses, I'm going to go ahead and distribute first, and then I'm going to play with the negatives. So I'm going to distribute this negative one-third, and that gets distributed to each of the exponents in the top. And so I really have 8 to the negative one-third times x to the negative five-thirds times y to the negative four-thirds, all divided by. And I'm going to do the same thing down below. I'm going to take that square and I'm going to distribute it to all of the exponents. This is really 6 squared times x to the 4 thirds times y to the negative 1 half. Okay. At this point, I split it. And so I'm going to concentrate just on the numbers and then just on the each of the letters uh, together. When I do this, I'm going to go ahead and bring this uh, one. Th by the way, the eight to the one third power or the cube root of eight is going to be two. But that negative says I got to bring it underneath, and so that whole thing is going to come underneath. Therefore, I've got six squared times eight to the one third. Now, when I do this, I, I'm going to go ahead and do this in the in the next uh, in the next part here. But when I do this, I've got to make sure to go ahead and take that cube root of eight. Now, when I come over here to the x's, remember that if we're dividing and there's the same base, then we can subtract the exponents. That's this particular rule here, sometimes called the quotient rule. And so. I need to take negative 5 thirds and subtract 4 thirds to give me a total of negative 9 thirds. Well, negative 9 thirds is negative 3, so this is x to the negative 3. Then I have to do the same thing with the y's. So I take my y to the negative 4 thirds over y to the negative 1 half, and so I have to subtract. Uh, one half off of negative four thirds. To do that, I have to get a common denominator, which is six. So this is going to be negative eight minus three, which is a negative eleven thirds. So this is going to give me oops, this is going to give me y to the negative eleven thirds. So now that I've accomplished that. Now I'm going to worry about moving stuff around. So I've got 36 here. This is 36. The cube root of 8 is 2, and so 36 times 2 is going to give me 72 on the bottom. And x to the negative, thir x to the negative 3 is going to give me 1 over x cubed y to the negative 11 thirds is going to give me y or 1 over y to the 11 thirds. At this point, I can go ahead and uh, I can go ahead and bring stuff out here and or co combine these all together, I should say, so that I have 72 x to the third y to the 11 thirds. And as far as the first part, you're finished. The first part of the question said, write your answer in rational exponent and radical forms. Well, it is in rational exponent form. I'm going to do the next part I'm going to do twice. It depends on your book and it depends on your instructor how they would want you to do it. And it also depends on what you have coming into this video. Okay, so here. Here I'm not, I'm going to write this down as not rationalizing. Rationalizing 
this is prob this is where my students are going to sit. Um, but you may have already rationalized den denominators, and so if you have, then you're going to have to follow the second part. So uh, we don't have to worry about the 72 or the x to the third. However, we do have a problem with 11 or uh, y to the 11 over 3. We can rewrite that as 1 over 72 x to the third. But now I can bring out I can bring out three y's, so y to the third. That gives me two of those left over. So if I divide three into eleven, I get three with a remainder of two. That remainder of two goes back in under the cube root. And so this would be the simplified version in radical form. If you have to rationalize, so here's two, rationalize. What we can do is we can take this green answer we have here, and what I need to do is I need to get that cube root of y, uh, y squared out of the denominator. So I am going to rewrite this, and then I'll show you what I multiply by. y to the third cube root of y squared. The very first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to multiply the top and the bottom using that same radical. Okay, now the 3 here says that we have to look for y's in groups of 3. Well, we already have two y's. We need 3. We want one more. And so that's what we're going to want to multiply top and bottom. When we do that, what we get is the cube root of y divided by 72x cubed, y cubed, but then we have the cube root of y cubed. Now that's just y. And so we have three y's here. We're going to have another y here. And so we have the cube root of y all over 72x to the third. Three y's and one y make four y's. And this answer would be your answer if you had to rationalize the denominator.